Hey guys, Ash here. So if you've seen some of my past videos or follow me on Twitter, then you know I absolutely love cycling. So this is the Valor, the first bike from Canadian-based Van Hawks. And you know what? The dream is finally a reality. It was nearly been two years of delays. It's taken absolutely no time to leave an impression. The concept behind the bike is something that gets us all going. Take something we love and infuse it with tech. Sure, anyone can do this, but for it to be done and done well, it takes serious thought, especially when you're dealing with something beautiful beautiful and mechanical like a bike. When they originally announced this on Kickstarter, I wasted no time at all with aligning my thoughts with the concept, but that's all it was, a concept. Prototype versions had the tech, but the design and geometry of the bike was lacking. What we saw looked awkward at best. And here, serious enthusiasts were quick to write it off, but as the campaign continued, Van Hawks hired the likes of Mark Remnick from Cervelo Cycles. This immediately ensued faith and a certain sense of relief because we all wanted the technology, but not at the expense of a bad bike. All right, context over and onto the bike. And what we've ended up with here is something really special. The first thing you'll probably notice are the lights on the handlebar. The primary use of these are for the inbuilt navigation and it's well thought out. So you have a single LED that lights up to tell you which way to turn and more lights up as the turning approaches. There's also a combination for U-turn or when your route has to be recalculated. The handlebar is also where you charge your bike. <laughs> it sounds so weird to say, but luckily the charge will last a while and you can keep it topped up through the Dynamo build into the front wheel so if you're a regular rider this is something you just don't have to worry about but hey if it does there's a single led and it'll flash up to tell you that it needs more juice and the attention to detail here is nice the connections are covered in a waterproof housing which is a great touch as is the overall design it's beautiful monolithic and all the electronics here don't compromise the design or the bike itself Okay, so this is an awesome bike. Let's see some specs. The grips, saddle and pedals are from Ergon. They look weird, but are surprisingly ergonomic and feel unlike anything else I've used. I've opted for the multi-geared version, which houses the N360 gear hub from CVT. Compared to a normal gear system, this one is internal and self-contained. So the benefit here is that there's no shifting from gear to gear. It's a gradual change, which totally weirded me out. It feels crazy. So if you can check it out in person. The brakes are the Avid BB7s, which are a $50 upgrade, which I highly suggest you take as you get larger pads, which equals more surface area, and they're also adjustable. One of the biggest highlights is the carbon belt drive from Gates. Compared to a normal chain, it's lighter, requires little to zero maintenance, and lasts a lot longer. Finally, to top it all off, this is housed in a beautiful unibody carbon fiber frame. In some ways, you know what? I just want to look at it. Who cares about riding? Okay, so what is this like as a bike? I have shown this to many people, both bike lovers and people who can care less, and the one thing that stands out is the balance. As I have the internal gear hub, most of the weight is shifted to the rear, but when riding, it does a remarkable job of not making it seem so. And the other thing is the tech. People were outstanding to find out that this bike contained a gyroscope, an accelerometer, a magnetometer, speed sensor, GPS receiver, and a whole lot more in what looks like a normal bike. And the thing that ties all of this together is the app. Boot it up and you have a maps-like ability to input your location, plan your route and start the navigation. Not having to look at your phone while cycling, not only is it liberating, but allows you to keep your eyes on the road. Swiping over, there's all the metrics you need regarding distance, calories, elevation, you name it. I just hope in the future that we can share this data to other services, because at the moment you can't do anything with it. Then there's the settings where you can connect to your bike, check the lights, see new tutorials, and finally, and the best part, talk to a Van Hawks rep to help with any problems or queries that you might have. I've been using this frequently and I tell you it's one of the best customer service experiences I've ever had hands down. And the tech doesn't stop there. The bike has a couple of pretty big features that aren't enabled yet. After all, this is only the start. One of these is the proximity detection. So essentially, if an object comes into your blind spots, then the handlebars will alert you with haptic feedback. This is potentially a massive feature, especially when you're riding in a city like London. The second feature I can't wait for is what Van Hawks are calling the mesh network, which basically aims to combat bike theft. So if your bike does get stolen, any other value in a city will be able to look out for your bike's unique signature. So of course, this is a long-term feature and requires a developed infrastructure of other valors to really kind of see the benefit. There's a lot more coming too, which is why this connected bike platform is a really interesting sphere. Guys, I honestly thought this wasn't going to happen. After the first major delay, I was bummed, but after the second, I was livid. You know what, I held out and here I am, 
it's amazing. It feels great, rides great, and all the tech is just the cherry on top. And when you put all of this into a package that looks this beautiful, has a full carbon frame and starts at $1,459, it just shows you how much thought went into creating the bike of the future. And so the Van Hawks Valor joins the elite few that transcends the very notion of what a bike should be and what it's worth. Thank you so much for listening. Take it easy and I'll see you soon.